An Adventure in Space and Time is a 2013 British biographical television film focusing on the creation of the popular science fiction television series Doctor Who in the 1960s, with emphasis on actor William Hartnell, who portrayed the original incarnation of the show's main character, the Doctor. It was directed by Terry McDonough, and written by regular Doctor Who writer Mark Gattis. It premiered on BBC Two in the United Kingdom on the 21st of November 2013, and later that year in the rest of the world. David Bradley portrays Hartnell in the film, which later led to him being cast as the first Doctor himself in the 2017 Doctor Who episodes "The Doctor Falls" and "Twice Upon a Time," and in a series of audio adventures for Big Finish Productions. Synopsis In 1966, William Hartnell David Bradley is in his dressing room at the BBC. He insults a stagehand who calls him to the set, where the delay caused by his absence is noticed. Hartnell enters in costume, ready to film his last moments as the first Doctor and stands in front of the TARDIS console. Three years earlier, BBC executive Sidney Newman Brian Cox is asked to create a show that will fill the gap between Grand Stand and Duke Box Jury. He has an idea for a science fiction series with the central character being a «doctor», although he does not know of what. When he tells his colleague Verity Lambert Jessica Rain she is hesitant to join the project. She changes her mind when Newman asks her to be the producer, not his assistant. Lambert and the show's director, Waris Hussein Sasha Dewan, meet William Hartnell to offer him the lead role in what will eventually be titled Doctor Who and, despite some trepidation, he accepts. During rehearsal, Hartnell is dissatisfied that the TARDIS lacks an interior set. Newman then compliments Hartnell's acting ability to save his producer from a troublesome conversation. However, Newman has misgivings about Lambert's handling of her job. This inspires Lambert to become more assertive and she forces the set designer to finally create the TARDIS interior. He does so effortlessly, impressing Lambert. The recording of the pilot episode is beset with difficulties, Newman dislikes the result and orders a reshoot. Following this, he is finally contented and schedules a transmission date. Lambert and Hussein are nervous as the broadcast of the first episode occurs the day after the assassination of John F. Kennedy and its potential audience is diminished. Newman summons Lambert and tells her of controller of BBC One Donald Bavistock's Mark Eden decision to cancel the show, but Lambert emphasizes her belief in it and demands he repeat the first episode before the second is screened. For the next serial, Newman expresses his concern about the Daleks, referring to them as bug-eyed monsters, which he refused to allow on the show since its creation. However, Lambert eventually convinces him. Following the transmission of the first Dalek story, Lambert realizes its popularity when she spots children impersonating the creature's catchphrase, Exterminate. Newman is pleased to tell her that the program achieved a viewership of 10 million and continued production is now assured. As most of the original cast and crew including Hussein and Lambert gradually move on to other projects, Hartnell's health declines, leading him to forget lines and requires scenes to be reshot—something the BBC can ill afford. Hartnell meets with Newman and asks for a reduced workload, but the decision has already been taken to replace him. Hartnell has grown to embrace playing the Doctor and struggles with his emotional attachment to the character. With little choice, he reluctantly accepts the situation. He breaks into tears as he informs his wife Heather Leslie Manville of the news, admitting that he doesn't want to leave the role. Before his final scene, Hartnell shares a brief exchange with his successor, Patrick Troughton Reese Shearsmith. As the cameras are about to record, Hartnell looks across the main console and sees Matt Smith, who will play the same role nearly 50 years later. Smith silently acknowledges Hartnell's legacy before disappearing as Hartnell begins the scene. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Production. Topic: Development. For the 30th anniversary of Doctor Who in 1993, filmmaker Kevin Davies pitched an idea called The Legend Begins to the BBC. The Legend Begins would have mixed documentary interviews with those responsible for the creation of Doctor Who with a dramatized strand showing the program's beginnings. Eventually, the dramatization idea was abandoned in favor of a standard documentary format looking at the entire history of Doctor Who, which was broadcast on BBC One as Doctor Who, 30 years in the TARDIS in November 1993. Ten years later, for the 40th anniversary, writer and executive producer Mark Gattis pitched the idea for the film to BBC Four, unaware of Davies's previous attempt. However, the proposal was rejected, and Gattis was told that there was no available slot or budget. Writing In order to make the film understandable to a general audience, not all personnel involved in the creation of Doctor Who are represented. For example, the role of original story editor David Whittaker is merged with that of associate producer Mervyn Pinfield, co-creator Donald Wilson and writer C. E. Weber are also excluded. Part of the production involved the recreation of scenes from the classic series, including missing episodes such as Marco Polo. Gattis also had ambitions to recreate the death of Sarah Kingdom from the Daleks' master plan using original actress Jean Marsh to play the increasingly aging Sarah, and to use Super 8 footage of a recreation of the Radio Times publicity photo shoot for The Three Doctors, but the budget did not accommodate these ambitions. <laughs> Filming. Principal photography for the film began in February 2013. Filming primarily took place at Wimbledon Studios in London, and the BBC Television Centre. It was the final drama to be recorded at the latter, which closed one month after filming concluded. Location filming took place on 17 February 2013, on Westminster Bridge in London. This involved replicas of 1960s Dalek props crossing the bridge, in a recreation of a famous scene from the Dalek Invasion of Earth 1964. Interior scenes replicating early Doctor Who production at Lime Grove Studios were also filmed, with replicas of early television equipment being used. Cast. <laughs> <laughs> A number of the cast have appeared in Doctor Who at one time or another, most notably original companions William Russell and Carol Ann Ford. David Bradley appeared in the series 7 episode, Dinosaurs on a Spaceship, while Jessica Rain was in the series 7 episode, Hide, and the Call the Midwife charity crossover mini episode. Jeff Rawl was in the season 21 serial Frontios. Mark Eden appeared as the title character in the season 1 serial Marco Polo. Nicholas Briggs, who has voiced the Daleks since the series was revived in 2005, portrayed his own predecessor, and Brian Cox voiced the Elder Ood in The End of Time. Jean Marsh and Annika Wills, who both played companions to Hartnell's first Doctor, also appeared during Verity Lambert's leaving party scene. Topic: Doctor Who actors. David Bradley as William Hartnell, who portrayed the first Doctor. Jamie Glover as William Russell, who portrayed Ian Chesterton. Gemma Powell as Jacqueline Hill, who portrayed Barbara Wright. Claudia Grant as Carol Ann Ford, who portrayed Susan Foreman. Anna Lisa Drew as Maureen O'Brien, who portrayed Vicky. Edmund C. Short as Peter Purves, who portrayed Stephen Taylor Sophie Holt as Jackie Lane, who portrayed Dodo Chaplet Robin Varley as Michael Craze, who portrayed Ben Jackson Ellie Spicer as Annika Wills, who portrayed Polly 
Reese Shearsmith as Patrick Troughton, who portrayed the second Doctor. Nicholas Briggs as Peter Hawkins, original voice of the Daleks and Cybermen. Topic: <laughs> Behind the scenes personnel. Brian Cox as Sidney Newman, creator. Jessica Rain as Verity Lambert, original producer. Sasha Dewan as Waris Hussein, original director. Sarah Winter as Delia Derbyshire, creator of composer Ron Grainer's theme tune recording. Joseph Railton as Brian Hodgson, creator of sound effects. Jeff Rawl as Mervyn Pinfield, associate producer. Andrew Woodall as Rex Tucker, director. Ian Hallard as Richard Martin, director. David Annan as Peter Brayshaki, original production designer. Sam Hoare as Douglas Camfield, director. Mark Eden as Donald Bavistock, controller of BBC One. Topic: <laughs> Others. Leslie Manville as Heather Hartnell, wife of William Hartnell. Kara Jenkins as Judith. Jessica Carney, granddaughter of William Hartnell. William Russell as Harry. Carol Ann Ford as Joyce. Ross Gurney Randall as Reg. Reese Pockney as Alan. Charlie Kemp as Arthur. Roger May as Len. Kit Connor as Charlie. Matt Smith as himself, uncredited cameo. Jean Marsh, uncredited cameo. Annika Wills, uncredited cameo. Donald Tosh, uncredited cameo. Toby Hadoke as the bartender. Topic: Reception. Topic: Ratings and reviews. The drama was watched by 2.71 million viewers in the UK. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 95% approval rating based on 22 reviews, and an average score of 8.5.10. The website's critics' consensus reads, "...fun, clever, and eminently accessible, an adventure in space and time offers entertaining viewing for Doctor Who newcomers and diehards alike." On Metacritic, it holds a weighted average score of 77 out of 100, based on 11 reviews, indicating generally favorable reviews. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards and nominations. On Monday, the 24th of March 2014, An Adventure in Space and Time was nominated for three BAFTA Craft Awards: Suzanne Cave for Best Costume Design, Philip Kloss for Editing Fiction, and Vicky Lang for Makeup and Hair Design. Lang was successful in her category, with Gemma Chan presenting her the award on Sunday, the 17th of April 2014. Speaking to Jenny Falconer, she described how she absolutely loved the project, and that it was a hair and makeup artist's dream. Further nominations for the production from the BAFTA Awards for Best Single Drama and the Hugo Awards for Best Dramatic Presentation, Short Form were received on Monday 7 and Saturday 19 April 2014. The BAFTA Award was won by Channel 4's Complicit at the ceremony on 18 May. The winner of the Hugo Award was announced on Sunday, the 17th of August, 2014. The award went to the Game of Thrones episode, The Reigns of Castamere. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Home Media. An Adventure in Space and Time was released on DVD on the 2nd of December, 2013, in the UK. A three-disc Blu-ray set was released in the U.S. and Canada the 27th of May 2014. The set includes the feature on Blu-ray, DVD, and an Unearthly Child DVD. The special was re-released on DVD and Blu-ray on the 8th of September 2014 as part of a 
50th Anniversary Collector's Box Set, alongside The Name of the Doctor, The Night of the Doctor, The Day of the Doctor, The Time of the Doctor, and The Five Ish Doctor's Reboot. Topic: Soundtrack release. Edmund Butt's score was released by Silver Screen Records the 3rd of March 2014. Track listing. <laughs>